We're no strangers to death traps around here. Oh, Whoa, man. Oh, man. So today, we brought in a few <laughs> real mechanics to react to some of the sketchiest cars and tell us if they're as dangerous as they look. Let's see this first death trap. Honda Civic. Slammed. Oh, no. Ooh. Oh, he's getting dragged. He's enjoying life. <laughs> it slammed to the ground, yeah. and he hit a divot. He's drifting. You yeah. think he pulled the e-brake? I e would have pulled the e-brake. <laughs> you have a front-wheel drive car, and you want to drift, but you can't. <laughs> so you get a tow strap, hook it to your buddy's truck, and you pretend like you have a 240. Good old-fashioned family fun. This video is about death traps. What's dangerous about being in a car like this, do you think? <laughs> He doesn't have any doors. Yes. That's that's my first thought of safety here. Uh, second, when you're that low to the ground, the risk of your car being affected by the road gets uh, exponentially oh, higher. Yeah. This is how you bust oil pans, by the way. Is it a risk for a car that low to actually lose traction just abruptly? Oh yeah, it sucks, but it's fine, especially for the boy. Let's give this death trap a rating, all right? Is this a car you wouldn't be caught dead in, or would you ride along if you had to? I'd ride in that hood where the engine's at, holding on to the intake, having fun. I want to ride in it. Oh. I think this would be fun. I'm just cleaning off my glasses so we can watch this next clip. Oh, Whoa, man. Oh, man. Holy moly. Looks like a little rear end accident there. Just a fender bender. I think that what happened there is that nobody's stopped that. I mean, I was a cop, I wonder, what the f are you doing, dude? Imagine that falling off. Would you call this a vehicular time bomb? Yeah. Yeah, I, 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 I'm not gonna ride in this thing. It looks like he got uh, severely rear-ended, <laughs> um, and it does look like he did replace the tailgate. If the frame is bent as much as the bed is, it's trash and, and probably wouldn't be w worth fixing. If it's that bad, yeah, I'll be like, look, shoot me like seven, eight Gs, and I'll go buy a new truck. <laughs> i fix your problem. All right, Angie, you riding this thing or nah? Hell no. <laughs> that is I'll probably ride along. I mean. <laughs> okay, that was crazy. But you know what can get even crazier? Making this show. Follow me. These videos only take you about 15 minutes to watch. But behind the scenes, it can take hours to find the best clips. And with different topics like 4x4 Rescue or Boss Repairs, it's important to keep all those clips organized. So, you know, that's why our producers here at Real Mechanic Stuff use today's sponsor, Opera One. I'm Tony, and I'm the director of RMS. And what I love right, most right, about right. Opera... Okay, okay. Freaking directors, man. Opera One is a free browser that excels in speed, security, and intelligence. It's packed with free features like ad and tracker blocking, a built-in generative AI service called Aria, and the best part, tab islands. This innovative feature allows you to group multiple tabs together on a dedicated island, and with one click, they're out of the way until you need them again. Opera's Tab Islands actually streamlines our clip sourcing process, allowing us to switch between truck driver clips and police clips without any of the clutter. Opera One is a forward-thinking browser that is designed for you with a quick access custom sidebar and plenty of design choices. So ditch the default browsers and declutter your online experience today by downloading Opera One. It's completely free, and honestly, we recommend it. Just click the link below. Next clip. Infinity G37. Okay. Yeah, buddy. Lovely car. Uh, yeah, lowered, I love you know. Hey. Lowered. Oh, no. Professionally by a professional. Oh, no. Um, the tires are brand new. Well, they were. They uh, were. But we know Camber. They don't look Camber, brand new, by oh, the way. We're also missing, you know. Holy, he's missing nuts That's everywhere. You when you're lowered, you're just going fast. Um, you know, race car. You don't need that. It slows you down. What? Well, weight reduction. Um, you, also, you also don't need your axles because the axles are rubbing that frame. Oh, man. Shh. Oh, man. I'm most concerned about that strut bolt missing a nut mm -hmm. because if that bolt comes out, that strut's going to come collapsing down and, and they're not going to be able to drive the car. So whenever that happens, you're going to be stranded. If you have extra pieces left over after you do a job like that, after you lower your car, um, 
You messed, messed up. up. That's how you learn. You f it all up and then you bring it to me and hopefully I don't f it up. What's the best way to learn how to do modifications correctly? F it up. F it up. Get your repetitions in. Mm -hmm. Eventually you learn, hopefully. I know it's very tempting to do a, a lowering job in like four hours or whatever, but don't do it right before you have to meet your girlfriend's yeah. parents for the first time. <laughs> so is this something you wouldn't be caught dead in or would you ride along? I'll ride along. Sandro is down. I wouldn't be caught dead in it. Same. Brake failure is the fastest way your car can suddenly become a death trap. So you might need to make sure you're using the right brake fluid. Brake fluids come in many flavors, but the two most common are the Department of Transportation Schedule 3 brake fluid or DOT3 and DOT4. Each is rated by their unique wet and dry boiling points. But if you're gonna drive your Tesla at 170 miles per hour, you're gonna want DOT4. Let's see why. Uh-oh, is this that cart Tesla? Oh no. And no back. Yeah, windows are gone. I don't, I don't see no cases. Just completely got it. Uh oh. Uh oh. <laughs> I mean. Where the f is your helmet? What it looks like is he experienced brake fade. Uh, you know that you are experiencing a hydraulic type of fade when you have a squishy brake pedal. The way your brakes work is you apply pressure up at the top where your master cylinder is, and that pressure is going to get fed down into where your brake calipers are at the wheel brakes. Have you ever seen your rotors get red hot? Mm hmm So just imagine your fluids. Yeah. They're boiling. So when you step on it, everything's gone. It's either evaporating, the fluid's boiling, it's not doing its job anymore, there's no pressure. That's where you get a really squishy pedal and I don't have a lot of force down at my wheel brakes. Would you ride in this thing? Knowing what I know about the brake fluid, no. Yeah, same. No, I'm not down on that one. Not, not on this you track. Got, not, not with that guy, no, yeah. not with him. If you've ever shot a video and thought it should be on this channel, head on over to realmechanicstuff.com, send it to us, you might see it in an upcoming video. We're forcing Tony to watch every single one of them. He's losing his mind and it's a joy to watch. Let's see the next video. I'm actually scared to have my kids in a car with people like this on the road. The steering wheel is very loose. It could be the bolt in the middle got loose mm. or Sometimes the actual steering column has bearings, mm. so they give out. If it's, if just, it's that, just a bolt, yeah. it's a simple fix. Mm. But you driving that, that long, knowing that shaking, yeah, I'll be scared. Apparently the customer denied repairs. Probably, oh, you know, these mechanics are trying to rip me off. <laughs> what would you do if they were your customer? I would definitely make them sign a waiver where I told them that it was unsafe to drive and they declined repairs. That way, if they ever got into a car accident leaving the shop, I have something to show the court that I told them so. Would you ride in this thing? <laughs> I would not be caught dead in it. No, wouldn't, you wouldn't catch me in that. He wouldn't ride, yeah! CarMax. CarMax, baby. Check this out. Chrysler. One day old. My mom's driving it. Nice. And she loses her brakes. Uh oh. I wonder why. Uh oh. What's what's wrong in this picture? Uh oh, the pads the aren't there. Check. Oh, sh. What's wrong with this picture? Oh. On this brand new, nice luxury car. Sir, it's a Chrysler 200. It's not a luxury car. I don't know if that is a reflection of CarMax at all because it sounds like the brake pad itself malfunctioned, broke. Brake pads yeah. only go in one way, so I don't think that one of the mechanics screwed something up. It looks like something catastrophic happened with the pad. The rotor and the caliper will probably need to be replaced if they don't fix this right now. You could crash, it could lock on you, it could seize on you, cost you more money. Would you ride in this thing if you had to or would you never be caught dead in it? A stock Chrysler 200. I wouldn't be caught dead riding in it, but not because of it being unsafe. <laughs> I'll ride that one. Next clip. Sounds like he's grinding some gear. Uh-oh, there's smoke inside. <laughs> oh man, that's serious smoke. You need to pull over, bro. No, it's on fire. Yeah. Get the fire extinguisher, bro. Oh, what? he has a fire extinguisher? What fire extinguisher? <laughs> Yo! Take the camera though. Make sure you get this. He came out. Pull the seat out. It wasn't even bolted in. <laughs> there, I turned it 
He's, he's door didn't even open. Door didn't even open. Then we jumped out. I guess they didn't have the extinguisher. Really good uh, diagnosis by his buddy. Yeah, that was very fast. He initially thought that it was fluid burning off, yeah. but I will say most of the time it does come from improper electrical wiring. A lot of the time it's because people do not place fuses where they're supposed to be. If you place the fuse way down the line uh, in, in the electrical circuit, everything before that fuse is not protected and can catch on fire. You can tell it's a project. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so well, they're, they're around. Obviously a project. <laughs> the boys just said, let me throw the seat in there, let whoever it lands for, hold on to dear life, mm -hmm. act like there's a extinguisher there for the camera, mm -hmm. they ain't there. Mm -hmm. And then let's roll. I'd ride this car if I had to. If the seats are bolted in, I'll ride in it. I'll be in the back seat holding the fool on the passenger side like that. Like, I got you, I got you, I got you. <laughs> Time for another clip. This car passed inspection in January. Whoa. We have a ball joint. High five. It looks like he's showing the looseness of the ball joint and the suspension by moving the uh, wheel back and forth. And it's exactly as it sounds. It's a ball and socket joint that is going to be able to swivel and also allow up and down movement. You get the symptoms. You'll, symptoms. you'll know it's coming. Yeah. You'll hear that clunk, clunk, clunk. Sometimes I'll be like, what's going on? Your steering sucks. Yeah. Come off and then you get in an accident with that one. Is this the car you want to be caught dead in or are you down the ride? All right. All right, that bad boy. If I had to go in a short distance, <laughs> I, I wouldn't I wouldn't be upset. Customer states, slight <laughs> vibration going over bumps. You're never gonna believe this. Both rear <gasps> upper trailing arms are broke. Oh and the U-joint well. is gone. Go walk over to this other side. This one is gone too. Oh my I've gosh. already removed it. <laughs> Both are snapped completely in half. I can grab the whole differential. I was just gonna say that's, wow. He drove on it for six months. <laughs> it's just rust. Everything's falling apart. The chassis's falling apart, the arms falling apart. Quite literally. The brake lines are probably falling apart. It's bad when your Chevy's interior lasts longer than the whole truck. Incredibly dangerous. Your car can fall apart physically as you're driving it. The drive shaft, if we get so much movement that that pops out, I mean, we could yeah. be looking at a catapult situation. Into the ground, pole vault status. Truck's getting silver at the state pole vaulting championships. Because of the condition of the trailing arms, we're probably looking at a lot more that needs to be replaced. Yeah. I would not be cut dead in it. I'm down to ride. <laughs> I'm down to ride. <laughs> he drove it there. Yeah, I'm down to ride. Let's see this next clip. All right, y'all, so we got a 2016 Chrysler 200. Another oh, one! I remember the car, I get the brakes, <laughs> and I get the call saying that oh, my no. brake light came on, and I had to put fluid in it for the last two weeks. And look what we got here. Oh. That don't belong there. Oh, no. <sighs> no, oh, this belong here. My... And this is exactly how it was oh, when I got my it. God. With that hose hanging down. He just got some stuff from other AutoZone or whatever just to get it fixed mm. and put it together instead of changing the actual, the line itself. So there's no pressure, all that shit's coming off. Mm. It's leaking like crazy. I don't condone what he did, but I do think it's creative and I think he gets points for that. <laughs> but uh, I think there might, there might be an engineering defect here. The threads on the fitting on the right just sheared. Interesting. Replace the line and bleed the system again. That's the proper way to do it. There's no like other way to do it. Don't f with the brakes. I mean, that's the way you stop, bro. Like, be cheap on everything. Like, don't buy yourself that McDonald's that week. Don't eat for a f month. Who cares? At least you can stop. You'll be alive. All right, how are we gonna grade this? Ride in it if you had to, or never be caught dead in it? Again, another Chrysler 200. Yeah. Again, <laughs> with the 200, I'm I'm gonna stay at home. I'm down. I'm down. <laughs> <laughs> Angelina, please remind the people who you are and where they can find you. I'm Angelina Alcantar and I teach automotive at Riverside City College. You can find me on Instagram at Miss A the Shop Teacher or on YouTube at Miss A the Shop Teacher. My name is Sandro. You can find us at Miranda's on Instagram. Catch us in LA. Roll the next clip. Ah. That's a box. Oh, man. But look at all the boys all happy. Bro. Everybody's oh happy. Oh my god, everybody's happy. That oh, he got stuck in a small wall. little crack. That's hilarious. <laughs>
That's totally a death trap. Is this a car you wouldn't be caught dead in, or you down to ride along? Hell yeah, I'll be riding along. <laughs> I'll be on that hood. Hey, make sure you hit that subscribe button, hit the notification bell so you never miss an episode. Tell us about any death traps you've spotted in the wild in the comments below. Follow me at Nolan J. Sykes if you'd like. Follow me at Justin Freeman. This has been Real Mechanic Stuff.